guys I'm Cameron from Graphics Learns and this is our uh, third part of uh, third lesson of Element 3D course and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you um, something about the group parameters how to use them what's inside them so um, first is the particle replicator you can increase the particle count this will increase the number of objects du uh, just duplicate those objects and um, this is uh, the kind of position or the kind of simulation you want to give them. You can create a 3D grid or a plane. Um, depends on you what you want to use from that. Then is the particle order. Um, just leave it to random because I it doesn't matter. Then particle repeat. How many particles you want to repeat um, at the time? Then is the particle offset. Uh, you seriously don't need to do anything to the offset, so just uh, leave it to default come some shape options you can uh, use them to increase or decrease their shape uh, and then there is the layer offset um, when you increase the layers you can increase the offset how much you want to make them you can uh, create some kind of uh, basic shapes with them and the layer distance also as you can see this will increase the distance and then uh, you come to the position x by this is seriously like how you take it um, towards x or y axis and this is the position z uh, in the uh, z uh, axis then is the scale or the shape of the individual objects then I uh, just take the particle count to 1 and go downward uh, maybe do it to 3 and then is the scale x y z so in order to increase the scale in um, different you say, um, what do you say, that different uh, axes, you can do that. When you come to rotation, it's just simply pretty easy. You can rotate your object, and it's pretty easy. And you go for surface offset, that um, how much offset you want to do to the surface. And uh, there is again another surface offset. And then comes the scatter, how much you want to scatter. Um, but, this, uh, but this will be in all the axes. You can use the individual controls to individually uh, scatter them in some axis. Then comes the random seed, the randomization of them, random movement of them. Then comes uh, there comes particle look. You can increase the particle size and randomly increase the size or decrease the size like this. Then go for force opacity. This is just um, to make some kind of transparency and uh, then is the rotation and then the here is the option baked in the uh, animation this is for the animated OBJ sequences that you want to loop or want to random loop or freeze at the end or mirror these are some basic things which you can um, test by yourself and this is a playback speed and the offset and all those um, parameters from the uh, scene setup control panel now there is the multi object that you consider all of these three as multi objects and you uh, just increase or decrease them um, or just rotate them uh, in that manner in that sense <sighs> so uh, here are some basic options those are uh, just the same for multi object but it uh, ensure that it will slow down your computer speed multi object so it's better you use different groups instead of multi objects then here is the group utilities it's a new option right here uh, in element v1.6 it's not in 1.5 um, but this copy and paste is older one you can copy all those parameters into another group like this and this is create group now its advantage is that you can create a null and instead of controlling it from here controlling the position from here you can just click on the null and you can just um, move your objects by using the null this is better when you track something and it becomes really easy uh, to assign the same position of the track null to your position null and then you will be able to just uh, create some kind of 3d composites using this um, so it then uh, the last thing I want to tell you is that you create another blob and here you can change their groups and can use them as individual objects. So that's pretty much for it and for today so 
I told you how to use the group parameters. So if you like my video, please like and subscribe and have a nice time.